Well, guys, I think, you know what, we all kind of laughed a little bit, didn't we, when he said about he wasn't Harry Potter and he didn't have a magic stick. I think a little bit lost in translation there, obviously meaning magic wand, but the whole magic stick line has kind of stuck since that moment. And everyone has kind of joked, haven't they, about the uh, the magic stick that Clemor has waved, uh, you know, that that is uh, it's, it's quite comical, really. It is really quite comical. We are going to talk a little bit of Philippe Clement um, in this video. But first of all, let's talk a little bit about Kimar Roof. Now, Kimar Roof returned from injury um, on Saturday and played 16 minutes versus Hearts. And we all know that Kimar is Mr. Glass. We all know that Mr. Kimar is a player who, you know, has got to be managed really until the end of the season if we'd hope to get anything out of him before his contract expires. Now, I think it's very, very highly unlikely. Well, I think it's probably completely unlikely that, 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 that uh, Rangers will offer him a new contract at the end of the season and that he will be allowed to just move on for nothing, which in itself is sad not to get a return for him. But, you know, we thank him obviously for his service if he does move on, especially obviously for that uh, being the top scorer during the 55 title winning season. But, you know, he is a player who can contribute towards the end of this season. He's a natural goal scorer, probably the best finisher at the club and has a good record against Portuguese teams, which could prove highly useful. Um, he also apparently played 45 minutes today for the B team and scored four minutes into the game. Um, so good news that Kimar is getting some more minutes into his belt. Good news that uh, Kimar is getting you know, getting himself back and fit and, and that uh, this return is obviously being carefully managed by Philippe Clement. And as we, you know, as we saw, didn't we, with the whole uh, Tom Lawrence return from injury, the Ryan Jack return from injury, there does appear to be a difference in the way that Philippe Clement manages these injuries and manages the players back to fitness and manages them to get them back into the first team on a regular basis. So it is to be hoped that obviously the approach that he's taking with Kimar, the 16 minutes against Hearts on Saturday and then the 45 minutes in the B team game today and the goal, of course, will help Kimar return to confidence and return to full fitness. Now, let's start off by, obviously, let's get on to it and talk all things Philippe Clement. Now, Philippe Clement, since he has come in to the club, has done a quite remarkable job, hasn't he? He has been absolutely outstanding. I think we could all agree that under Michael Beale, this team was going nowhere but downwards and was pretty much falling apart. Clement inherited a fractured dressing room, inherited a team that clearly were not happy with what was going on at the club. You know, there's been talk of that in the media, there's been talk of that from the players, that there was a clear dissatisfaction. Uh, you know, I think some of it's perhaps stemming even from the way that Fashion Sakala was treated by Michael Beal, an eminently likeable dude like him. I mean, I mean, let's face it, fashion is just amazing. Fashion was is a, is a top, top man, isn't he? Um, so... You know, the way he was treated was very, very poor indeed. Um, you know, since he's come to the club, he's managed 27 games for Rangers in all competitions, 23 wins, three draws and only one defeat. Unfortunately, that was against them from across the city, an 85% win percentage. But it's beyond those simple stats and figures that we think about Philippe Clement and what he has brought to this team you know he is an ultimate professional as we've seen you know in press conferences he gives away a little but not very much he doesn't say a great deal he doesn't throw anyone under the bus he's very professional in the way he deals with the media um that deals with the crappy little small condescending questions and the questions trying to dig out dirt very very well indeed on the sideline he is a man of passion a man of direction who manages his players perfectly I mean, you've only got to look at how he spends time with each of his players when they come off. And throughout the game as well, the way he instructs, the way he inspires, clearly must be helping. Now, one thing Philippe Clement has always focused on is this one game at a time, this one week at a time, this one month at a time. And whilst that's been a very, very progressive attitude because we've seen in the team a real move forward in standards in terms of tactics, in terms of quality of play, in terms of team identity, in terms of team style. We've seen a progression. And like I said on the video earlier, if you went and looked at Billy Clemon's first game to Billy Clemon's game on, on Saturday against Hearts, but you watched every game in between, I think you would see a clear progression, a clear development, a clear upward curve from this team. You know, the, that mentality that, that has long dogged this team that, uh, you know, we, we, we blow chances to, to close the gap on them and that we blow chances to, to establish ourselves as Scotland's best. We we bottle it, for want of a better term, seemingly and 
has gone. And look, I am obviously not worried, but I, I, I do still panic as being a Rangers fan. I've got too much emotional scarring from the past. Now, Philippe Clement did talk about this, and he has had the media trying to get him to talk about being top of the league, trying to get him to talk about a league chat title, trying to get him to, 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 to really, you know, to wax lyrical about it. But he hasn't done that because of his ultimate professionalism. This is what he had to say when he was interviewed on Saturday by BBC Radio Scotland. He said, my players are enjoying their football and understand that working together without an ego helps them to shine and be loved. But nobody is looking at the ranking and the table as we will be busy with a tough game on Wednesday against Kilmarnock at Rugby Park. My dressing room is humble and they know what to do. I will keep a close eye on it staying that way because players will start to think they can fly and stop doing the things they are doing now. We need to keep doing what we are doing. There's a lot of interesting comments and lines to pull out of this quote from Philippe Clement. The fact that he is clearly not really looking at the table yet, that he is not allowing his players to get carried away with the fact that they're top of the league. The danger and the worry was always that maybe, just maybe, it would be a, wow, we're top now, we've achieved it, that's it, it's done, it's dusted, that, that's it. And, and it kind of then stops and you kind of stagnate and you don't move forward and, and you let, let them, an awful team, get back into it. And, and that is quite clearly not something that Philippe Clement will do. The also the thing as well about that focus being on the next game, that's the way he always seems to be thinking and always work. Focus, next game, focus, next game, focus, next game. Not letting them get carried away, not in letting them look way down the line to April, May, June time, you know, whenever when trophies are handed out. It's all about the here and now. What is next? How do we focus on that? How do we build towards that? How do we overcome that? How do we manage this team through each of the games? And that's what it's all about. It's about making sure, as he said previously, that his teams are always super prepared for every game, for every eventuality, so that nothing comes as a surprise. The big other thing to pull out of this is the ego and humbleness. He says that players don't have an ego. He won't allow them to have an ego. He says his dressing room is humble and they know what to do. It's all. It's quite clear that it's for him, it's all about managing expectations. It's about making sure the players' feet stay firmly on the ground. And that's always the worry, isn't it? When you when you you know go to the top of a league or you go on these wild, these amazing unbeaten runs or players we did on Saturday against uh, Hearts, the players can get carried away. The players can think it's a job done and all they've got to do is turn up. Clermont is quite clearly managing them through that process, ensuring that that doesn't happen and he's quite clear at the end of that comment isn't he with that with that quote about he will keep his eye his players feet on the ground it says that players will believe they can fly and he will make sure that they don't get carried away and that is absolutely key between now and the end of the season this team is very very good this team is playing some good football and I think you know if you said to us after that game against Aberdeen that you'll be top of the league by two points playing some of the best football you've seen in years we'd have laughed in your face but look this is the way it is now. The quality of football on Saturday was absolutely amazing. It was brilliant quality football. And Rangers need to keep that going now through to the end of the season. And I've got no doubt in my mind, managed by this man under with the expectations that he quite clearly has and the way he has of managing this squad, that can be done. Now, we wouldn't be amiss without looking at that league table again. As you can see, our form is absolutely outstanding going in towards this so far. You know, unbeaten, uh, you know, in the last, even looking at the last five games, five victories, much better than that lot across the city. Well, we've now scored 60 with 61 goals, same as them. Our defence is six goals better than them. Our goal difference is six better than them now. Uh, two points clear. So effectively, you know, that's like a three points in a way. I know it's not, but, you know, there we go. Now, yes, Wednesday will be an exceptionally tough game against Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock, uh, last defeat at home was on the 2nd of December, a 1-0 defeat to Hearts. Um, their, their form, they're unbeaten. You know, the five in the last five, they've drawn three, one, two. It will be a very tough game, and they will fancy getting something from this game. You know, you go back across their results in, in the last few weeks. Uh, Killy, they beat Aberdeen two 0 on Saturday at home. They drew one one at, uh, at the Piggery. They won two 0 against Cove Rangers in the cup. They beat Livingston one 0 at home. They drew one one away at Fir Park. They drew 2-2 with Hibernian when they had a player sent off. They won 2-0 at home against Dundee in the fourth round of the Cup. Uh, their last defeat in the league was a 3-1 defeat to us on the 2nd of January. Before that, a 2-2 against Dundee at home. A 1-0 away win at St Mirren, who are doing very well this season. A 2-1 home win against St Johnston. A 0-0 draw at Livy. A 2-1 home win on the 10th of December against Celtic. A 1-0 away win at Aberdeen. 
the, like I said, their last defeat at home coming on the 2nd of December when they lost 1-0 to Hearts with a Will Dennis own goal contributing to that defeat. So that they're no mugs. They'll make this game as difficult as possible. And, and their manager, Derek McInnes, will have them set up to be as tricky as possible to defeat. So, you know, Philippe Clermont is, is right in what he's saying in terms of the fact that this is all about making sure that his team are prepared and are ready for this tough game, as he puts it, on Wednesday. And I've got no doubt in my mind that with his magic stick, he can help us do that. Now, we can all have the magic stick jokes. Of course we can. But it's like what a number of my commenters have said on this channel. It's great we have a real manager, a proper manager, a professional manager. This guy as well, his tactical approach to games. You know, the team on Saturday, like I said, I think Rose did lead a few eyebrows to be raised with Sterling starting on the right wing. It's if you look at his team selections as well, he clearly matches his teams to who he's playing, to overcoming whatever that team may be able to pose. Whatever threat, however major or minor that team poses to, to us, he seems to match players to games. And that's why we're getting this rotation, which in the past obviously has upset players. Players don't like to be constantly in, out, in, out. But there seems to be a real synergy, a unity amongst this squad, a common purpose and, and the rotation is helping to keep all the players happy and keep all the players feeling involved with this squad so it's another fantastic part of this job that Philippe Clement is doing but what I, like, what I want to get across is that quote that comment that he made at the weekend for me gives me real faith for the future that he's keeping the players feet on the ground that he's keeping the players focused game by game by game and not letting them get carried away and that for me is a key thing if we're going to go on and win this league well guys let me know what you think in the comments down below as always on the way out if you can do me two favors number one is to smash the like and number two is to remember always never forget we are the people mm -hmm.